So I want to talk about something. I uh, was on Twitter, as I usually am at this point, and I came across this thing about Hassan. And do you guys don't know who Hassan is? I think you probably do, but if you don't, he is a political Twitch streamer. He's also here on YouTube. And he has a clip going around about him talking about, well, here, I'll, I'll play it for you. Yes, a real job can be gruesome. A real job can make you very tired, but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? In the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. Wow, what a privileged little baby is, is what I would said, you know, would have said if I had actually, you know, not paid attention and saw the actual full clip of what he was saying. So now I'm going to show you the real full clip of what he was talking about. Social battery wise, unless you're in retail, unless you're in fucking retail, it's very different. You're out of touch. I'm going to die, dude. There's motherfuckers who are accountants in here and they're misunderstanding what I'm saying. A real job does not expend your social battery in the same fucking way as someone who did a sales job, a real job. Okay. I'm telling you as someone who did, did both like nine hours of, of constant performance and people pleasing taps you out from social scenarios after nine hours of that i could probably do fucking physical labor it would not bother me but i can't fucking do more social shit that's my point like there are obviously real jobs out there that are good comparisons service sector people pleasing jobs would be very similar those are like i think customer service type shit but like if you're an accountant or if you're even like in sales, my interactions with clients was limited, way more limited than like constantly having to do this for nine hours with like a back and forth interaction for nine hours. That's what that's what like sucks your your social battery and you just tap out after it. Yeah, think about it this way, like you give presentations for your job, right? Imagine giving a presentation for nine hours straight. It's like after a while, you would be like, I don't want to talk ever again. <laughs> and so now, of course, we have this Twitter discourse of the day about, you know, what is and isn't a real job, which is something personally I hate. I hate the idea that we are now trying to put hard limits onto what is considered a job and what isn't. Listen, you guys, if it is something that you do that pays, it's a job. Even if it's illegal, it is a job. A job isn't it's coming from a business or a corporation. A job is any activity you, you engage in that pays you, that you produce income from. But in this particular uh, instance, people saying like, oh, he's so privileged. He's so privileged. He's so this, he's so that. Even other successful YouTubers and streamers are saying that. I'm like, you guys are, are missing the entirety of the point here. His specific, his specific point was that because he streams so much that his social batteries drain. So after he's done streaming and engaging in chat that, you know, he doesn't want to do things afterwards. So when he goes to events, he leaves early or maybe he's on his phone or maybe he's not able to talk to people. That's what he was talking about. Other creators were chiming in saying, yeah, I, I have that experience too. But a lot of people are coming in acting as if like he's saying, woe is me. I have so much money. You guys I have too much money. What do I do with all this money? He never once mentioned money. But a lot of people immediately go to money, which is idiotic. Like, I am not a fan of billionaires. I'm not a friend of billionaires. I always say tax the fucking rich. I am also a leftist. I know it's the gaming channel, but it's whatever. But that doesn't mean that people who make even like millions of dollars aren't subjected to anxieties or emotional, physical, uh, psychological labor. Having to deal with people in any way, shape or form is exhausting. Okay. I've worked retail. I currently work a job where I, I love my job. I work a job where I, I work with people on the, uh, the spectrum or people who have uh, ASD. And what that means is I'm always on, like, this is my normal voice. And this is why I talk about my work. Yeah, dude. Yeah, buddy. All right. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to go here. We're going to do that. That's not my normal demeanor. And I have to be on for hours. I work 10 hour day. I'm, I'm gone six days a week, Monday through Saturday. 
I wake up around, well, if I'm lucky, I can wake up around like at the fourth, myself wake up around six o'clock every day. I work out for an hour or two and I go to work and I'm not back home until like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And then on weekends, on Saturdays, I start work at 7 a.m. So I work a lot and it's exhausting, but it's exhausting in a different way that, you know, when I was working retail, which is exhausting in a different way than when I was just going to school or, you know, doing physical labor, doing security like I did. Like these all are different types of exhaustion and different types of effort. But that doesn't make it no longer a real job. Just because one has, you know, a better outcome doesn't mean that the effort or the emotional labor put into it, the physical labor or any sort of labor put into it is minimized. In fact, I would say there's a whole different set of stressors for people who are online content creators. I'm not a large content creator by any stretch of imagination, unless we're talking about height. By then, yes, I'm a very large content creator, but I'm not a, a huge social presence. Okay. There are newer things that we're dealing with because of social media. There's people who can have parasocial relationships with you to an extreme degree. There are people who will come and hate watch you, leave hate comments, try to dox you, get you swatted, like all of these things. Have your name being constantly thrown out there, your your character constantly misrepresented. And I'm not talking about Hassan specifically, I'm just saying in general, you have all those things that you don't have to deal with with 9 to 5, a typical 9 to 5, right? When I go to my job, I don't have to worry about people talking about me or whatever, but that doesn't mean that I don't have my own set of stressors or my own set of issues. They're just different. He, he has a social battery that gets depleted because he streams for years at a time, right? A, a lot of other content creators have issues with, uh, you know, imposter syndrome, or they feel like they have to always be talking their next content. And what people aren't talking about is in terms of creator economy, you have to always be producing. Either you get lucky and you have a Patreon set up and you can live enough where you can have time to build like these videos that way you want them, or you're constantly on every single day because there's no like, there's no pension, there's no retirement fund, there's no days off, there's no vacation time unless you you were able you to take that hit financially. Most other jobs do accrue some sort of sick pay or sick day or maternity leave or something of a similar to that where you do have some scheduled time off, even like holidays, like. <laughs> But all this to say is it's very strange to try to come at someone who is talking from a personal experience and then try to invalidate that by using your own personal experience. Because there is another uh, YouTuber here I, I saw. It's uh, some ordinary gamers. And he's basically saying that, well, you're rich. So, I mean, this is, this is, the, this is the easiest job to have because in my job, which I also work six days a week at my company. And I'm just like, well, you have a company. You could just not work six days a week. Like you could just hire someone to run your company. You could just, you could just be like a Bezos. You could just have that, but you choose not to, which is fine. But then you can't complain about the irrational clients, right? Cause you choose to do that. You see how like, that's hypocritical? Like. Just because we choose to do something doesn't mean we we are immune from its consequences or side effects. To sit here and try to invalidate someone else's work because you view work as only manual labor and you view work as such a narrow uh, field, that's your problem. That's not most problem. You can't tell me, oh, because he's a movie star or she's a, 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 an athlete or they're a Twitch streamer that they don't have pressures, they don't have issues, they can't complain about anything because they're so privileged. What you consider privilege is not universal. If you have a job, no matter how shitty your job is, you're privileged because in other places in the world, they make zero dollars and you make 10 bucks an hour. So you're privileged. So now you can't complain when some old lady comes and yells at you because her expired coupon, uh, you know, expired and she can't use it. You don't get to complain because you're privileged. Oh, you play video games all day. That's such an easy job. It's like, it's not though. Like it's not, it's not just the act of playing video games. You're playing video games. You're trying to engage people, grow an audience in a field that's quite literally oversaturated. You're trying to do all of these things to make yourself stand out. You're constantly coming with new ideas. Like it's not easy. You guys think it's easy because you think the task itself is simple. It's never just the task though, right? If I could just sit here, dead ass, look at you guys and make a billion dollars and just be like, then yeah, I do that, but no one would watch that. People barely watch my stuff now, and I put some level of effort into it. It's nothing is about this job is consistent, and this isn't even my job.
Listen, TLDR. Stop this conversation. This conversation is pointless. It's 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 dumb. You're never going to be able to like you have a real job and you don't have a real job. Do they get paid real money? Do they have to put in work? Do they have to provide a service? They have a real job. That's it. And with any job comes your stressors. With any job comes things you don't like. And you can talk about it and how it affects you. I think it's super fucking weird that people think once you reach a certain level, nothing can affect you. That's insane. If you work a job, if you provide a service, if you, you know, put effort into something consistently, especially when it comes to online content creation, when you don't know the outcome for any of these things and you still have to put effort in to maybe one of these pop off or whatever. Yeah, it's a job, dude. It's a job just because you don't have someone above you telling you what to do. Doesn't make it not a job. Like I, I, uh, it's, 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 this isn't, this is a bad, this is a bad mentality that people are having, man. This is a bad mentality people are having.